at the beach. So when you go to the beach, sometimes, sometimes the water's quite calm and sometimes it's quite choppy. And today we're learning about a boy in the Bible and how he's very calm in a very scary situation and God helps him. So we're just going to look briefly um, at a bit of a representation here. Things that make us feel calm, calm. on the left over here. And on the right, things that make us worried. Okay, so three little helpers who we've enlisted to help with us today. Who wants to do the first one? What's this? Me. What's that? A butterfly. So, Emily, would a butterfly make you feel calm or worried or somewhere in between? Calm. Do you want to put it on the line now? Yeah. Where is it going? Yeah. Quick, before he flies off. Yeah. Luke, what's this? A bit of argument, so I think this will quite make, make you quite worried. Okay, can you put that on there? No. Mm. Josh? Um, it's a volcanic eruption and there's a lot of kind of bad things that can happen from that, so I'm going to put that on the um, worried scale. Yep. Put that here. Someone towards being worried? Mm. Yep. Um, Amelie? Now, hmm, a funny bones book. And you like reading, don't you? Like Does this make you feel worried or happy and calm? I'm worried. Does it? Really? Okay, where about you want to put it on? Why don't you just put it on the line? Um, Maybe you can help with that one. Because my, 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 my line needs to be pink. That's okay. Can you put it on there then? Yeah. Put it where you think. Okay? Is so, it on? In the middle. Alright. Luke? Oh, happy because you might like reading. Picture of a swimming pool. Oh, it's kind of heavy. So? I think swimming yeah. helps you relax yeah. and helps you be quite calm. Okay. Yes. Very good. And um, what should we go for next? I think we will probably go last of all for this little fella. Am I good? Now, where should we put him? Um, um, Carl or worried? Worried. A little way in come. Even the cute lion cub, where should we put him then? Yeah, put him down the end. Just put him down the end. Just put him on the floor. So this leads on quite nicely. And we're just going to have a quick worship song. And then we're going to lead on to the story of Daniel. Bye. a Jewish man who was taken to Babylon when he was very young. Mm -hmm. Daniel loved God and followed God's rules, 
He talked to God three times a day and asked God for help often. Daniel served in the Babylonian king's court for many years. Yeah, I know him. And under many kings. Hey, Daniel. Daniel always proved himself to be more capable than all the other court officials. My hero, I think. Wow, well, time. Daniel was serving under King Darius, and because of his great abilities, the king made plans to place him in charge of the entire empire. Wow, okay. The other court officials searched for some fault in Daniel, but they couldn't find anything wrong with him. He was faithful, responsible, and completely trustworthy. Ah, wait. The court officials realized the only way to get at Daniel would be to challenge his faith. Come on! So they went to King Darius hey, excuse me, your majesty. and advised him to make a law that for the next 30 days, any person who prays to anyone except King Darius will be thrown into the lion's den. I like it. King Darius signed this law, and once a Babylonian king signed a law, it could not be overruled. When Daniel learned of this law, he went home and knelt down, as he always did, to pray in his room with the windows open towards Jerusalem. He prayed three times a day, just as he always had done, giving thanks to God and asking for his help. The officials went to Daniel's house and found him praying. Gotcha! They went to the king and reminded him of the law. I remember. Well... Then they said that Daniel had been found praying to God three times a day. What? When the king heard this, he was very upset. Get over here. And he spent the whole day trying to think of a way to save Daniel. Wait, what? By that evening, the court officials came back to the king <coughs> and reminded him that no law signed by the Babylonian king could be overruled. So at last, the king gave orders for Daniel to be thrown into the lion's den. The king said to him, May your God, who you serve faithfully, rescue you. Then the lion's den was sealed shut with Daniel inside. The king spent the night fasting and couldn't sleep. Then very early in the morning, the king hurried to the lion's den. He called out, Hey Daniel! Was your God able to rescue you from the lions? And Daniel answered, Long live the king! My God sent his angel to shut the lion's mouths so that they would not hurt me, for I have been found innocent in his sight. The king was overjoyed and ordered that Daniel be taken out of the lion's den. Then the king ordered the men who had schemed against Daniel to be thrown into the lion's den as punishment. Daniel was safe. There was not a scratch on him, for he trusted in God. I hope you all enjoyed the Daniel story. As you can see, Daniel was faithful to God and prayed to him three times a day. When Daniel was sent to the lion's den, instead of being worried, he was very calm. He knew God would be there to keep him safe. What do you worry about? I think we all worry about different things and certain things we worry about at different times. I know when I was younger and I was at school, I used to worry about things like falling out with friends or who I was gonna sit next to in lessons or I really didn't like things like PE or having to speak out in class. And I used to worry a lot about those things. It's really important that if you're worried about things that you talk to the people around you and it's also really important to give it to God. Just stand back, take a deep breath in, and just ask God to come and be with you in the situation. Just think of Daniel and the many other stories there are in the Bible about people who were in difficult situations and God's power really came in. Just pray that God will take away the worry and make the situation calm for you. There's so many verses in the Bible that tell us that God protects us. Josh, do you want to read that one yep. from Psalms for us? Yeah. So it reads, As for God, his way is perfect. The Lord's word is flawlessly. He shields all who take refuge from him. What a great verse is that. Amazing. That, Wonderful. Um, you know, that God shields, shields us. us in all situations in life. Just remember that. 
sometimes there's some practical things that we can do that help us not worry about things. And one of the things that we sometimes do in our family is five, four, three, two, one, which um, you may have heard of before, but it's just something that um, just helps us to just focus our minds on different things other than our worries. And although it's not anything Christian at all or anything, I think it's a really good opportunity to look around us at the things that God's created and just remind us that he's in charge and he's there just to help us and keep things calm. So in a little bit, Emily and Luke are just going to demonstrate, aren't they? Five, five four, four, three, three two, two, one. one. Long name, by the way. Yeah, yeah, on the beach. Um, and I just want to end um, just by having um, a prayer. So, dear Lord, I thank you that you are in control. I thank you, Lord, that you take away our worries and our concerns and that you bring peace and you bring calm into the situation. Lord, I just pray that we will give everything to you. Amen. Amen. Okay, guys, five things you can see. Sand. One more. And look. Good. Four look. things you can touch. Um, sand, seaweed, And one more. Rocks. And rocks. Very good. Okay, three things you can hear. Listen out for three things. Well, I can hear people chatting. Um, yeah. Um, I can hear waves and people chatting. Can you hear anything else? Can you hear the wind? Um, yeah. yeah. I can hear the wind. Yeah. Okay. Two things you can smell. I can smell seaweed. I can smell and seaweed. seaweed and sea. And one thing you can taste. Can you taste anything? Um, Is it a bit salty? Yeah, you can taste yeah. salt. Well and done, I, guys. And I can taste seaweed. Okay, well done.